Hi guys, it's Kales and I'm coming at you with the top five Wednesday woot! I haven't done one like all year long um, and I just don't know why. I've been doing a bunch of other things and so now I'm excited to finally do a top five Wednesday. Top five Wednesday is a group on Goodreads created by Ginger Reads Laney and I will link all of that information down below. Every Wednesday we do different topics. This week's topic is biggest badasses. There's a lot of badasses in books that I can choose and instead I decided to pick five real badass women from history. That being said, let's go on with it in no particular order. A woman uh, named Sofia Perovskaya and there are a lot of books about her. This one I have right here is uh, To Kill a Tsar and Sofia Perovskaya was uh, the very first Russian terrorist and the first woman ever to be executed in Russia and she is notably responsible for the assassination of Tsar Alexander II. Her and her terrorist group The People's Will along with Andrei Zailabov who was her lover um, were the ones who coordinated the attack on Tsar Alexander II. A lot of people have said that that revolutionary success um, was one of the things that led to the uh, Russian Revolution, which is really cool. And she's a BA. There's several books about the people's will that you can read. There's not a book about Sophia specifically. Um, this is a fictionalized version to kill a czar. Some other books that I have um, that you can read on that is Russia in Flux, The People's Will by uh, Eric Burbig, as well as Imperial Russia after 1861. There's a great fictionalized vampire series um, that takes place in Russia over the course of many years, and the one that takes place over the course of this time period is The People's Will. <laughs> It's quite fun. Number two that I have on my list, um, these are the only like fictionalized women that I have, but it's kind of a tie-in to real life women because it is about real events, and that is the women in Anita Diamond's Day After Night. Day After Night, if you have been on my channel long enough, you've heard about this book. Day After Night is about Jewish women in displaced persons camps after World War II, so it's 1945, right after World War II, and these women have nowhere to go. These people have no papers. They legally don't exist. So they were sent to camps in Palestine, were told to stay there in, in barbed wire fences, and this is based off of the real breakout of one of those camps at Leet. Some of the women in this book were survivors from concentration camps, from brothels, um, were soldiers, um, and were also in hiding. To me, it still represents a lot of BA women that survived this time period and were able to overcome such horrific tragedy. Next on my list, I have uh, Azar Nastafi, who is an Iranian woman who has written several books. These are two out of the three, um, and this one is Things I've Been Silent About and Reading Lolita in Tehran. And the other one that I love so much is The Republic of Imagination, which I talked about on a previous video. She's still alive today and she's amazing and so cool. If you follow her Twitter, it's a lot of really fascinating things that you can learn in articles. Um, and these books are just really insightful and amazing, uh, especially very relevant to this day about education of um, Middle Eastern women and just education of people in general and what literature means to this world and why we should keep it alive and a part of curriculums. So the next BA woman that I have is Zelda Fitzgerald and this is a novelized version of her life and I have to put Zelda on here because um, as I've been reading this and as I've been uh, looking up different things about Zelda's life, she's fascinating to me. I don't know how BA she is, but I gotta be honest, she's bold and she's brash and she has gumption for her age. For those of you who don't know, she is Scott F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife um, who wrote The Great Gatsby. In regards to Scott and Zelda and just had this very scandalous life and she's also known for being a little bit crazy, she was a woman ahead of her time and I think she had a fearless that a lot of women could aspire to. The final BA woman that I want to talk about is Odette Samson. And Odette Samson was a British woman in World War II who was a spy. She was actually working with uh, Peter Churchill, which was Winston Churchill's nephew, and they were working um, against the Nazis and their spy group in France, and they got caught. And she got sent to Ravensbrück, a concentration camp, and actually manipulated and, you know, tricked the um, head guard into, you know, talking to her and everything, and he ended up when Ravensbrück, um, was going to get liberated and the Americans were winning and German Germany was losing in World War II, he actually helped her escape the camp um, before it got liberated and turned her in and turned himself in, hoping that he would get a lighter sentence. And she was like, nope, you were evil and you killed all these people and I'm going to sentence you to death. Not only that, but she did a lot of other amazing spy work later in her life. They made a movie about her in the 1950s called Odette. There are also several books about her that you can read up on. I just think that she was so interesting and 
and fascinating and just brave and amazing. She just astounds me and I love people like that. That being said, this is a lot of amazing women um, that I think people should know about and I think people should read up on. They're not exactly damsels in distress. They're not exactly the uh, most morally straight women, but I think they're interesting and fascinating and I was so happy for this topic to give uh, you guys a chance to hear about them. I got to talk about something that I love and that I'm passionate about and I got to do something a little bit different with my Top 5 Wednesday. If you have any questions or comments about these women or different things you want to talk about, seriously, I'm a huge nerd on this stuff. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys about any of these people. Leave a comment down in the comments below and um, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say until next time guys bye so this is gonna be a longer top five Wednesday book than uh, longer top five Wednesday video than normal 